all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the like uh, the lost in a jungle problem of uh, august circuits 2021 okay so before moving on the tax associated with this problem is like you need to have the knowledge of uh, dynamic programming you need to have the knowledge of trees and you need to know the concept of how to apply dynamic programming on trees that is in short you can say tp on trees okay so this problem is really an interesting one when I have solved this problem it's like uh, I like this problem like it requires some thinking skills it requires some basic mathematics and also like uh, it requires you to have some implementation skills nice implementation skills also and uh, you need to know the DFS traversal how you need to do this okay and also you need to be very much careful that you need to report the answers I think uh, using this modulus like in that case you need to include some like power of some no certain number e raised to the power b and you need to calculate it with the modular sign in that case if you are not aware about that how to do that you I have referred a video on my channel like I have already explained that uh, I think where it is yeah uh, okay so I need to just search it for that like it's name is like binary exponentiation you need to just have the good knowledge of for that then only you can have a like best and efficient solution for this one you can see yeah binary exponentiation yeah you can see that i have already explained a lot of stuff over here how to calculate the e raised to the power b with the help of modulus and you need to know the inverse concept also i have explained all that okay so let's move on to discuss this problem Okay, so we'd be given a tree. Okay, uh, yeah, you would be given a tree of n nodes, and there will be n minus one edges correspondingly. And uh, what we need to find it out is also there is a rooted uh, root node also node one, and uh, we need to find it out in how many ways we can choose a set of leaves of the tree in such a way that the subtree of each node of the tree. Note that subtree of each node of the tree except leaves themselves. That is, we are not going to account for the leaves, and we need to just count it down on how many ways we can choose a set of leaves, so that for every subtree of each node, non-leaf node, there would be an odd number of chosen leaves. Like if you account for checking it out, that if we we have a non-leaf node, then that uh, subtree of that non-leaf node must contain an odd number of chosen leaves. How many ways we can do that? We need to report the answers, and uh, the answers can be large. We need to take care for this prime number. That is, if the answer is greater than this prime number, we need to report it with this modulo. Okay, so you can see n is around 10 raised to the power 5, and uh, we need to find the answers. And how many ways we can choose a set of leaves such that subtree of each node of the tree, uh, there would be an odd number of chosen leaves. Okay. So let's move on to understand this problem with the help of examples. Then we are together building up the best solution for this problem. So let's move further. Okay, now the very first thing that we need to understand that uh, how many leaps are there in this uh, graph? You can see that let's say there are x amount of leaps. Okay, so what is the number of ways we can choose a set of leaps? You can see I can choose any none of the leaps. I can choose any one leaves or it goes on till xcx. This is the binomial term. So total number of ways will be 2 raised to the power x. We can choose a set of leaves in total 2 raised to the power x ways. But you can see that uh, yeah 2 raised to the power x and x can go at most n minus 2 I think. Uh, yeah n minus 1. So in that case you will have the like if n is like 10 raised to the power 5 you can see that this number is like very much huge. And also we need to take care that uh, the answer is not 2 raised to the power x. Like we need to also check it out that if I will have some chosen set of leaves, then for that chosen set of leaves, every non-leaf node of this sub uh, of this tree should contain the odd number of chosen leaves in it uh, in its subtree, right? Like if I will choose some of the leaves like this one, this one, and this one, then all these nodes you can see where I'm circling it out will contain an odd number of chosen leaves. If you check for this node, this is a non-leaf node, you can see that there is no none of the leaves I have chosen in its subtree. You can see that number of leaves chosen in its subtree is zero, which is even. So this uh, set of leaves being chosen is not possible. 
Okay, so how we are going to do that efficiently? Let's try to understand that. Okay, so first thing we have to be very much clear that. Uh, okay, so let me write down this simple thing. When we want to build an odd number, right? It can be built from only one of the keys like odd number plus even number. Like we can also build from even number plus odd number but this is same as the above okay so whenever you want to build a number odd you are going to choose to, from two numbers what we are going to do you are going to choose either an odd number and an even number or an even number to an odd number if there are two different things okay now for every node like i am talking about for every non leaf node note that i am talking about a general case now okay this is a non leaf node i have already made it clear non leaf node okay now for every non leaf node let's say there are okay so let me yeah for every non leaf node let's, let's say there are x amount of non leaf child nodes and there are y amount of leaf nodes leaf child nodes Okay, so let me write down clearly. Uh, y amount of leaf child nodes. Okay, now for every subtree, what I'm going to do is like uh, we have uh, x amount of non-leaf child nodes and we have y amount of leaf child nodes. Okay, now uh, consider this case like uh, we would be start finding out the answers from the like from the bottom of the tree, like from the from starting from the leaves. Okay. and at a certain step suppose that we have already find out what is the number of ways to reach up to all the x non leaf child nodes okay and, and all these y leaf child nodes as i have already said we are building up the answers from the bottom of the tree so at a certain step it is obvious that we have all the answers up to this case and all the answer up to this case and now we need to find out the answers for the current case So in other words, you can say that we are finding out the answers for the DP of ith state where the i is the current node, right? So we would be uh, we would be finding out the solution for the current state. Now you can see that this x and y is going to play a very important role over here. Now let's write down the some of the cases. Like you can see that there are x non-leaf child nodes, and for every okay, so let me write down x one, x two. X3 and it goes up to XX. Let's say there are X amount of non-leaf child nodes and every non-leaf child nodes will have X1, X2, X3 amount of uh, ways of choosing the set of leaves such that in its subtree it has an odd amount. Okay. Now you can see that uh, I need to write down some of the cases and what is the first case? You can see that what about when X is? Okay. So not doing it like that. when x is even and when x is even and y is exactly zero okay now when x is even and y is zero you can see that there are x amount of non leaf child nodes and every node has containing an odd number of chosen leaves and x is even so this will parameter will give us the total number of leaf nodes as even okay so this parameter will give us total number of leaf nodes as even And since there are no more leaf nodes, you can see that what is the total number of leaf nodes uh, being uh, being included for this current subtree, current node subtree. You can see that this y is zero, and this will give us an even amount. So this subtree will contain an even number of leaf nodes. But we want that this subtree should contain an odd number of leaf nodes. So there is no possible way to have the answer to have the correct answer. So whenever you will encounter X non-leaf child nodes of the current node, and there are zero leaf node. You can see that there does not exist any way to choose a set of leaves to fulfill the condition for the current tree. Now, the comes the case for different parameters. What will happen? Like, like X is even, and Y is non-zero. When X is even and Y is non-zero, it means that this parameter will always give us the even number of leaves, right? and since y is non zero i can make this subtree to contain an odd number of leaves how i can make that this will since an odd number is always composed of some odd number plus some even number and this parameter is even i need to 
ensure that I need to choose an odd amount of leaves from this Y. You can see that if I want to choose an odd amount of leaves from this Y, I can choose YC1, YC3 and it goes on to YC, Y-1 or YC, Y depending upon the parity of Y. So, but this sum will always come out to be 2 raised to the power Y-1, right? So, 2 raised to the power Y-1. Okay, so whenever X is even, X non-leaf child nodes of this current node is even and there are the Y amount of uh, leaf child nodes where Y is non-empty, your answer would be like uh, number of ways to choose this one into 2 raised to the power Y minus 1. Okay, what will happen when we have, uh, okay, so let's say we have uh, X as odd and uh, Y as zero in that case you can also see that i have no need to just write down the cases because this parameter will always give us an odd number of leaves because every x1 x2 is already odd and, and we have x as odd so odd into odd will always be odd there is no way of choosing this one. and what will happen when x is odd and y is non-zero in that case you can also see that there are like number of ways to choose this one will always contain an odd number of leaves and since I need to have odd number of leaves for this current case and y is non-zero, I will always choose 2 raised to the power y minus 1 ways to choose from this y so that the current subtree will contain an odd amount of leaves. Okay. Now the thing is like we need to have some more efficient cases. Like, uh, okay, so what we are going to do is like suppose we have the current tree as this one. Okay. Let me demonstrate this with the help of examples. So, okay, so number of ways, like these all are the leaf nodes, so it will be one number of ways to choose this one would be one. Okay, now for this current tree, okay, I need to ensure that uh, there are, uh, okay, what we can do is like, uh, yeah, you can see that for this subtree, like I'm talking about this node, you can see that there are two uh, Y amount of leaf nodes and X amount of non-leaf child nodes. Okay, you can see that y is 2 over here and x is 0 over here. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is like, uh, you can see that if x is 0 and so there will be an even amount of what? Odd number of, like there will be even amount of leaves due to this x and we need to ensure that this subtree will contain an odd amount of leaves. So I will choose an odd number from this one. 2 raised to the power y minus 1 which should be 1. So there will be two ways to choose this uh, num uh, to choose this uh, leaves up to this subtree. So dp of i for this state will be 2. And similarly this will be also 2. Similarly for this state I need to check it out one thing that there are x amount of non-leaf child nodes, y amount of leaf nodes and y is 3 over here and x is 0 over here. You can see that this will always give an even amount of what leaves, uh, even amount of leaf nodes under this subtree and for this case you need to ensure that you are going to choose an odd amount of leaves. So either you are going to choose YC1 or you are going to choose YC3. In other words, 2 days to the power 3 minus 1, which is 2. So there are four ways to do that. Okay, so this is for this case. If you are going to choose for this one, you can see that there are odd amount of non-leaf child nodes and there is Y0. Okay, what about there exists one more? Like here you can see X is 3 and Y is 0. Note that I am talking about this node and these are all the subtrees of these nodes. Okay. So you can see that X is already odd. So there will be an odd number of Qs and leaves under this subtree and Y is already 0. What about when X is 4? You can see that answer does not exist. There does not exist any possible way of choosing a set of leaves so that uh, we can have every subtree containing an odd amount of Qs and leaves. Okay. So in more general words, you can say that for every subtree, For every subtree, your dp of i, let's say dp of v, is going to be written as product of dp of u for every u starting from 1, for every u ending at x. Okay, and note that x is like uh, non leaf child nodes. Okay. So this will give you a total number of ways to choose an 
set of leaves for all these non leaf child nodes but you need to ensure that uh, uh, the current subtree will contain an odd amount of leaves and for the rest of the cases you are going to choose an always an odd number so it should be like 2 raised to the power y minus 1 and you can see that this problem uh, like this formula i am not going to apply for that node which contain x as even and uh, y as zero in that case you can see that anyhow i cannot choose uh, like i cannot allow that subtree to contain an odd number of leaves because this parameter will always give us an even number and we are not being able to make that subtree contain an odd amount of leaves since y is zero so we are going to apply this for every node and this is the problem of dp on trees you are going to start from the bottom side so let's head over to the code to analyze how this is going to be done efficiently so let's move further okay so let's discuss the code you can see that uh, i have used a binary okay so let me just uh, open up the submissions because uh, yeah okay so you can see that i have used a binpo function binary power function if you are not aware about that check out the description section of the video i have mentioned a video link where you can discuss or learn a concept how to use that okay so what i have done is like uh, i have defined some global variables like uh, at the the list of the graph and there is a dp and there is a subtree which is going to denote the number of nodes present in that uh, current subtree including the current node and this n is going to hold the maximum value 1 e power 5 plus 5 for convenience and this ok is equal to true which is going to just uh, check it out whether the answer exists or not like you can see when x is even where x is number of non leaf child nodes and uh, there are no leaf nodes of the current subtree ok will become false denoting that our answer does not exist you can see if ok is true i am going to print the answer otherwise print zero okay and uh, these are the like i am just pushing back the edges in the adjacency list you can see that it is an undirected edge and, and then i am calling the dfs on the trees now the main part of the function the main part is this dfs function we need to understand so whenever i will encounter that ok has already become false no need to do that just return otherwise let's count down the leaf nodes and this non leaf child nodes okay so if u is not equal to parent it means that yes it is already not visited let's go further then call that dfs function and just sum up all the nodes lying in the subtree okay so if subtree of a particular node is exactly like this the child node of a particular node is exactly one like number of low, uh, nodes lying in that subtree is one it means that this is a leaf node just increment the leaf count otherwise increment the non leaf child node count and if a node exists like if a number of non leaf child nodes exist and it is even and there does not exist any leaf clone as i have already stated we are not going to have a, like this current node holding an odd amount of leaves in that case ok will become false and just go further otherwise what you are going to do is you are going to sum up all the values like as I've already said, like uh, for every subtree, like for every node, we need to find out the total number of ways, right? So what is the total number of ways to reach for all these non-leaf child nodes would be like product. You need to find out this product and you are going to choose a set of leaves, right? And so that the current uh, node would become, would be holding an odd amount of chosen leaves. So in that case, you are going to just make out all the product like this node should not be a leaf node that's why i've checked subtree of u should not be equal to one and this is not equal to its parent and just you need to find out the total number of ways to reach up to this current state dp of v would be like dp of v into dp of u okay note that every element of this index of this dp is initialized with one and if this is not a leaf node you are going to also append one extra term by multiplying it with the dp of v would be like 2 raised to the power leaf minus 1 since this can be large you need to use the binary power function okay so this will give you the total number of ways of choosing an odd amount of leaves which would be like 2 raised to the power y minus 1 where y is leaf over here okay and this will go on until you get all the answers in dp of 1 it will be total number of ways to choose a certain set of leaves where every subtree is going to contain an odd amount of chosen leaves so this will be your answer this will give you all the test cases passed so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video